Hi everyone! Couple months ago, I have reviewed the Google Home Mini. You can see it in the card here. And it comes handy with some daily tasks. But beside the basic things, these are 10 commands you might don't know the Google Home can do. Number one is a new feature, recently introduced to the Google Home. Actually, if you're a kind of the person that prefer to fall asleep on white noises sound like rain, crackling fireplace, or maybe you're running river, the mini can help you with that. Before you get to sleep, you can just say, okay Google, help me relax. Playing relaxation sounds. and play it for an hour, then automatically stop. Until now, you cannot set a timer for that. If you want to pick the sound yourself, you can just say, okay Google, play nature sound. Playing nature sounds. Okay Google, stop. Okay Google, play river sound. Here's the sound of a river. Google. Stop. Number two is about wake up words. You must of course know that if you want to wake up the device for listening, you must either say OK Google or Hey Google. But there is also other words you can say. For example, you can ask OK Boo Boo and here it is listening for you. You can also say OK Noodle and here it is also listening for you. These are some new hot words you can use now, but until now you cannot customize your own wake up word. Number three is a small other functionality for the side buttons. Beside of turning up and down the volume, and since the touch sensitive button on the top has been disabled by Google, you can actually tap and hold the side buttons to pause and play your songs. Just like this. Okay Google, play some music. Playing some music on Google Play Music. The song is now paused. If you want to play it again, you can also tap and hold one of the side buttons. Number 4 is customizing shortcut commands. It is like assigning a custom command to a task that the Google Home can do. For example, let's say you like to watch your movie when the lights are dimmed with the color purple. Instead of telling Google to turn on the lights on a certain color, then set the brightness to a certain level, you can choose something to say like movie time and then the Google Home will turn on the lights to your favorite color and dim the brightness to your chosen level. Here is my command in action. I set it with my LifeX bulb to turn the lights to purple and set the brightness to 20%. Okay Google, movie time. You got it, changing the living room to purple. Sure, setting the living room brightness to 20%. To customize any command you want, just head to the Google Home app, swipe right, go to more settings, then scroll down to shortcuts. Then you can either choose from the available shortcuts or create your own. In my case, I just added the command movie time and assigned this action to it. Actually, there are tons of possibilities, so I will let you explore and play with the settings. Number five is the ability to set an alarm with music of your choice. By default, when setting an alarm on the Google Home, you will be woken up just by one tone. But what if you want to wake up on your favorite music? For that, you can actually say, okay Google, set a music alarm at 10.22 p.m. Sure, and what music would you like me to play? Coldplay. Okay, I'll play Coldplay music for 10.22 p.m. A few moments later,
Beside of setting alarms with music, you can also snooze it when it rings. Okay, Google. Snooze. Snoozing for 10. It will snooze it for 10 minutes by default. Or you can choose the snoozing time by saying snooze for 30 minutes or any time you want. Number 6 is a way to remember where you put some important stuff, especially if you're someone that forgets a lot. For example, you can ask Google to remember where you have put your passport by saying Hey Google, remember that my passport is in my desk drawer. Okay, I'll remember that. Then someday, in case you forget about your passport, you can just say Okay Google, where is my passport? You told me that your passport is in my desk drawer. You can after a while ask it to forget about it by saying Hey Google, forget about my passport. Done, it's forgotten. Number 7 is adding a task on your task manager like Evernote or Todoist, only by using your voice. Let's say you use Todoist. These are two methods to do it. The first one is by just asking Google to talk to Todoist. Then add your task. Just like this. Okay, Google. Talk to Todoist. Okay, here's Todoist. Hi, Ramir Alwagi. I can read you your tasks for today or just your next upcoming task. I can also complete or add new tasks in Todoist for you. Add a task. This is a test. The task has been added to your inbox project with a priority of 4. Would you like to make any changes to your task like adding a label or moving it to a different project? No. Okay. Do you need anything else? No. Okay. Bye. The second way is my favorite because it avoids the annoying to-do-is talking voice. It just let Google add the task directly to the app. For this to work, you need to have the IFTTT -T -T app. Open it, look for Google Assistant, and search for adding a task to Todoist by voice. Then you can configure your custom command and the project and date in which the task will be added by default. For me, I have just chose to say, Hey Google, add a task. This is a test. Okay, adding a task on Todoist, this is a test. Number 8 is changing the assistant voice. By default, you get the female sound out of the box. But actually, if you prefer a male voice, you can head to the settings, more settings, preferences, assistant voice, and select voice too. Number 9 is posting to Twitter using your voice, or practically any social media you prefer. But if you're a heavy Twitter user, then this one will come handy for you. Actually using the Google Home and the If That Then This app, you can post to your Twitter account with your voice, only by saying things like, tweet, this is a Google Home mini test. Then this sentence will appear on your Twitter feeds. Unfortunately, you cannot add hashtags. I have tried that and I have ended up with the word hashtag in my tweet. But if you figure it out how to do it, please tell me in the comment section. I will be very interested to know this. For this to work, you need to download the EFTTT app, search for Google Assistant Services, go there and look for the Twitter voice posting applet, then link your assistant to your Twitter account by signing in. After that, you can choose what voice command you want to say to your Google Home so it can post on Twitter. And the last one might be a basic feature, but not everybody knows it. Actually, if you cannot find your phone inside your house, the Home Mini can do it for you. You can just say, find my phone. And then the Mini will ring your phone at max volume, even if it is silent. For this to work, your phone needs to be connected to the internet and of course on the same Google account as your Google Home device. So this was my list. Hope you liked the video, leave a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more to come. Thank you for watching and catch you guys in the next one.